Hi guys and welcome to this leak where today we're talking digital pH meters. Now pH is a very important thing to regulate, control and to know when you're making a fermentation as yeast can be positively or negatively affected depending on the pH of the fermentation. There's other reasons to monitor pH as well in other phases of the um, spirit production process. For instance, if you're making a gin um, that has color, colors react differently if the pH is not correct, so the color may fade or change over time if the pH is not correct. So that's another reason or another place where we, we, where we would use a digital pH meter. Now, you can use pH strips as well to measure pH, but the problem with pH strips is it's not that accurate. I mean, it can't tell you, for instance, to a decimal point what your pH is, where a deep digital pH meter can. It's also open to interpretation because it works on color changes, where a digital, uh, digital pH meter is a reading. Now, when we buy or when you buy a digital pH meter from us, it will come in a little container like this. And inside here, we've got instructions, obviously. We've got the pH meter itself, uh, which works on uh, two or three uh, watch batteries. You have a, sc a screw for the calibration screw, and then you've got two packets of buffering solution, an acidic and, uh, well, both are actually acidic, but the one's more closer to neutral, where the other one is definitely an acid. Now, the way we use a digital pH meter the first time when we get it is we obviously put in the batteries, we turn it on, um, and you're going to get a reading immediately, but you first have to calibrate this before you can use it. So what we do is we take three little containers of water, now this has to be demineralized water, reverse osmosis water or distilled water. So you can either distill the water in your still itself or you can go buy distilled water from your local pharmacy. That is in effect reverse osmosis water, they just sell it as distilled water, but it's the same thing, it's demineralized water. So we take the demineralized water and we add in our little uh, packet. It's going to be, this is enough for 250 mils of water and you have to be sure that it's 250 mils because if you add this packet to more or less water the pH is not going to be correct. So you need an accurate measuring cylinder or accurate measuring jug or beaker in order to make sure that you've got the right amount of water. So exactly 250 mils of deionized or demineralized water and you add in your packet. Now the first packet you uh, use is the, six, the green packet, the 6.86 packet. Now there's a pH of 6.86 at 25 degrees Celsius. So you need to be, make sure that your water is at 25 degrees Celsius after you've dissolved it in there. So you need an accurate thermometer as well. So you pour your water, you add this in, you measure your temperature, make sure it's 25 degrees Celsius, and then you put in your um, pH meter. Remove the cap, put it in only for the bottom to be in there. You switch it on and you get your reading. Now the reading has to be 6.86. If it's not 6.86, we take the little screwdriver and we adjust the screw at the back while it's in the liquid until the reading says 6.86. This is now calibrated. Then we rinse it off in normal clean water and we confirm the calibration. Now we do that by doing using the red packet in exactly the same way, 250 mils of deionized water, we dissolve the red packet in there, we make sure it's at 25 degrees Celsius, and in this solution, my reading has to be 4. If it's not 4, I have to calibrate it again, adjusting the screw until I get a reading of 4. And you then confirm your readings to make sure it's correctly calibrated. If it is not correctly calibrated, if it does not give you the correct readings, you contact us and we will provide you with a new one free of charge. That's our digital pH meters. So I hope you understand them better. I hope you understand how to calibrate them. And I hope you enjoy using them.